Hello guys, we are back again. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you share this video. And in this video, Prophet Uber Angel goes deeper, dives deeper on his sons, most especially Prophet Lovey L. Elias. Make sure you listen carefully what he says about his sons, dreadlocks. Let's go. Decorum is when prophets have different decorums given to them. The same God who told Lot to run away from the fire told Abraham, look towards the city. Different rules. Another one is told, leave and don't look back, you turn into a pillar of salt. Another one is told, uh uh. Look. How do you tell Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego go into the fire when you have told Lot, run? How do you tell Samson, a prophet, kill the lion? Open his mouth with the jaws, break the jaws asunder. Then you tell Daniel, just get in there and chill with the lions. Different rules, different prophets. One prophet is told, eat this food. Another one is told, eat food, but mix it with human feces. You have not read the Bible, my brother. <laughs> Are you getting this? The Bible says there is no not man of God in our midst. This is Paul. He said a man should not have long hair. It's not allowed in the body of Christ. It's written in the Bible. These are rules and laws. So there is a decorum about priests, but there is also decorum about prophets. You can see one prophet with long hair. It doesn't mean to say it's evil. You have to understand what prophets are called to confront. Mm. 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 Why was Jonah swallowed by a fish? So, um, let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. Now, this is what the prophet is saying in case you are not, you don't want to understand. You know, there are some people who watch this kind of videos and they don't want to understand. Even though they are watching, they don't want to understand. Now, this is what the prophet is saying. Every man of God or God deals with people differently you go know i mean and in that same respect god deals with men of god even men of god differently you get me and he is giving us references regards examples that's what i mean about men of god in the bible referencing is very important he dealt with situations let me just say same situations in different ways something has to do with you know a lion Daniel too has to do with a lion at a point. But Daniel's situation, how God handled the whole thing was different from how Samson also handled his lion issue. You get what I mean? So God is just dynamic with how he handles things. He, he gives different rules to his people. You get what I mean? So a prophet could bear dreads and that is fine because God is dealing with that same person in his own way. You get me? And then the, during the days of Apostle Paul, he dealt with his ministry in a different way. He was telling his people now, you know what? You are not supposed to put on long hair as a man. You get what I mean? In this ministry of mine, you are not supposed to put on long hair. You get what I mean? So the prophet is trying to break everything down into details. Make sure you follow and grab you know, some quality substance here. Because the people in Nineveh believed in a sea god. Mm. So they wanted him to arrive and be vomited at the beach. And the people at the beach were waiting for a prophecy from the sea god. And then they see the Jonah come out. Immediately they said, our god has arrived. That's why they were so quick to repent. Why? Because they are decorums for prophets and they are decorums for priests. So you don't just run amok. Angel is fighting this one. Fighting who? These are little kids I have raised. Mm. Do you know who I am? So in this respect, I think Prophet Uber Angel is referring to Lovey L. L. Ash and then um, Passion Java. Prophet Passion Java. I'll make sure their images will be on the thumbnail so you get to know them. Yeah. And let me give you a sense. Never in your head think you raise me. There is no way an ant can pick up an elephant. 
There's no way. There's no way. You know, when a person honors you, they think they're actually doing you a favor. No, then your honor was like a lie. Because the reason I honor Pastor Chris, it's not like he's going to watch this service. No. The reason I honor him is because I know what he has done for me. So it's honor. It has nothing to do with am I lifting him up? Because if I don't, Chris Oyakilome still is going up. So when you hear me talk, listen to everything I say and take it. The book of Jeremiah. Guys, thank you for tuning in, watching this particular breakdown. Uh, it is, uh, I'm much grateful, I should say. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and share this video. Prophet Uwe Angel addressed his sons, most especially the ones that have dreads, and it is amazing. It is very detailed and amazing. Thank you. I'm out.